Hello everyone, it's Dr. Wolf here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing how cell organelles interact to create hexokinase. This is a protein, it's the first protein involved in breaking down glucose for energy, and it actually happens out in the cytosol. This is just the fluid of the cell before it goes to the mitochondria to really get broken down. So I'm gonna start this process in the nucleus of our cell, right? This is the organelle that holds our DNA. All right. Now, in the nucleus, there's this special reason. It's, it's not like it's membrane brown or anything, but you can definitely see a, a difference in concentration or hue. Uh, this is our nucleolus. It's more in the center of our nucleus. And the purpose of the nucleolus is it's specifically involved in making ribosomes. These are protein factories. So the nucleolus is going to help make these ribosomes. All right? And the ribosomes are going to leave through these nuclear pores all right, in the nuclear envelope of the nucleus and hang out in the cytosol. Now, just a little bit of extra info in terms of how that's happening is the DNA is getting read, right, to make this MR, or sorry, to make this rRNA molecule. Uh, ribosomes are just made out of RNA. They fold kind of like a protein to make our ribosome right here, all right? So now we have a ribosome that's our protein factory, right? That's gonna make our hexokinase, but we need some instructions to make that happen. So in our nucleus, again, maybe a little bit more outside the nucleolus over here. Remember, there's a ton of DNA in our cells, uh, six, about six feet in just one cell, just one of your cells. We have DNA and there's a ton of DNA. We just need to copy one gene and we're going to make a copy of that gene to make hexokinase with an mRNA molecule. So DNA stays in the nucleus. Uh, we have that copy of the DNA just to make hexokinase. That mRNA is going to come out of the nucleus, pass through the nuclear pore of the nuclear envelope, and then head to the ribosome. At the ribosome, it's going to start assembling amino acids to make our protein, right? Uh, and now that we have a protein, in this case, it is specifically hexokinase, right? So now what it could do is it can come over here, latch onto glucose, break it up a bit, that first step before glucose eventually heads to the mitochondria to really get broken down for energy.